Farley Granger captured the hearts of audiences with his performances on the silver screen. Known for his roles in classic films, he brought characters to life with depth and sincerity. His work with esteemed directors added notable titles to his filmography, making him a memorable figure in the golden age of Hollywood. Granger's talent shone through in each role, leaving a lasting impression on cinema history. Farley Granger was an actor known for his roles in movies during the 1940s and 1950s. He became famous for his performances in thrillers directed by Alfred Hitchcock. Have you ever watched a Farley Granger movie and found a scene that stuck with you over time? Maybe you have a special memory linked to one of his movies that brings a smile to your face. We'd love to hear about your favorite moments or experiences related to Farley Granger. Your stories and memories are important to us, so please share them in the comments. Stay tuned because we have many surprising, amusing, and touching facts about Farley Granger to share with you. Farley Granger was born into a wealthy family, but faced financial struggles during the Great Depression. His parents encouraged his interest in acting from a young age. He started his acting career in theater and was discovered by a talent scout, which led to his film debut. Granger's acting was influenced by his work with various theater groups and his early exposure to the performing arts. He was mentored by Samuel Goldwyn, who guided his early film career, and later by Alfred Hitchcock, who directed him in notable films. These experiences shaped his acting style and career choices. Farley Granger was an actor known for his work in films during the mid-20th century. His most notable projects include Strangers on a Train, directed by Alfred Hitchcock, where he played the role of Guy Haynes. This film is a must-watch for fans due to its suspenseful plot and Granger's performance. Another significant movie in his career is Rope, also directed by Hitchcock, which is famous for its unique filming technique and intense storyline. For those new to Granger's work, these two films are highly recommended as they showcase his talent and are classics in the thriller genre. Additionally, They Live by Night, a film noir directed by Nicholas Ray, is another highlight in Granger's filmography that is worth watching for its early take on the genre and Granger's portrayal of a young outlaw. Farley Granger, known for his roles in classic films, found his love for acting quite early. As a teenager, he was spotted by a talent scout, which led to his first film role. This chance encounter sparked his interest in acting, and he decided to pursue it professionally. His passion grew as he took on more roles, feeling the thrill of bringing characters to life and the joy of storytelling. This early experience set him on the path to becoming the actor we remember today. Farley Granger made a strong impression as Philip in the film Rope, directed by Alfred Hitchcock. Their successful partnership continued with the movie Strangers on a Train in 1951. Granger spoke highly of working with directors Alfred Hitchcock and Nicholas Ray, praising them as the best he had worked with. He held a special place for two films in his career Strangers on a Train and They Live by Night, both of which showcased his acting skills. In 1959, Granger took to the stage in his Broadway debut with First Impression, a musical adaptation of the classic story Pride and Prejudice, where he performed alongside Polly Bergen. Farley Granger, an actor known for his roles in classic films, faced significant challenges in his early career. He struggled with limited financial resources, which made it difficult for him to pursue acting opportunities. The film industry was also skeptical of his abilities, often overlooking his talent. Despite these obstacles, Granger showed great determination. He took on various roles, no matter how small, to gain experience and showcase his acting skills. His persistence paid off as he eventually landed roles that showcased his talent to wider audiences. Granger's story is one of perseverance, showing that with hard work and dedication, one can overcome difficult beginnings and achieve success in their chosen field. Farley Granger brought to life the character of Bowie in the film They Live by Night. His work on this classic was so valued that in 2007, he provided his insights and experiences in an audio commentary for the DVD release. In another memorable role as Guy Haynes in Strangers on a Train, Granger's portrayal was enhanced by the coaching of tennis professional Jack Cunningham, who also appeared as his on-screen opponent. Beyond his roles, Granger was a dedicated student, honing his acting skills under the guidance of esteemed teachers Stella Adler and Sanford Meissner. Farley Granger's career had several key moments. His role in the 1948 film Rope was a significant turning point. 
directed by Alfred Hitchcock. This film showcased his talent and brought him to the attention of a wider audience. Another major role was in Strangers on a Train in 1951, also directed by Hitchcock, which further established him as a leading actor. His performances were praised for their depth and sincerity. Peers and critics noted his ability to bring characters to life with a natural and compelling presence. These roles are often seen as highlights in his career, reflecting his skill in portraying complex characters and contributing to the success of the films. Granger's work left a lasting impression on both the film industry and his audience. In They Live by Night, Farley Granger played Bowie, a young man on the run. During the film's production, Teddy and Fuhr, a child actor with a small part, had already worked with Granger and Kathy O'Donnell in other movies. And Fuhr, despite his young age, had a significant number of films to his credit, including working with Granger on his first film, The North Star, and with O'Donnell on The Best Years of Our Lives. They Live by Night also featured a unique opening with a prologue showcasing Granger and O'Donnell's characters in a romantic light, complete with subtitles. Off-screen, Granger was the son of Farley Earl Granger and Eva H. Granger. Farley Granger was an actor known for his natural style of acting. He often chose roles that challenged him and were different from his previous work. This made each of his performances fresh and new. He believed in being true to the character and the story above all else. His personal experiences, especially his early struggles and his service in World War II influenced his acting. He brought depth and a sense of reality to his characters. He was open about his life and his identity, which was rare at the time. This honesty showed in his acting, making his characters more real and relatable. Granger's work is still admired today for its honesty and the way he brought characters to life. Farley Granger brought life to the character of Guy Haynes in Strangers on a Train, a role that became one of his most memorable performances. He shared a strong connection with this film, and they live by night, considering them his personal favorites. His experience working alongside Robert Walker was something he treasured, and Walker's unexpected passing deeply affected him. In Rope, Granger portrayed Philip, and interestingly, the character's zodiac sign of cancer matched his own. His career included being one of the last actors under contract with the legendary Samuel Goldwyn, marking a significant era in film history. Farley Granger was an actor known for his roles in films during the 1940s and 1950s. He worked with famous directors like Alfred Hitchcock, which helped him gain attention. His acting style was natural, and he could play different types of characters. This made him popular and showed other actors that you could be yourself on screen. People in the movie industry say he was good at showing emotions and making characters feel real. This influenced how stories were told in movies, making them more about real people and their lives. Even now, actors and directors look back at his work for inspiration, showing that his way of acting is still important today. During the years of World War II, Farley Granger served in the United States Navy. After his service, he took on the role of Philip in the film Rope, which faced bands in several cities across America due to the subtle hints of a romantic relationship between his character and Brandon, played by John Dahl. Off-screen, Farley Granger shared a close friendship with Robert Calhoun and Swedish actress Sean Hasso. Granger and Hasso also worked together on stage, showcasing their acting skills in front of live audiences. Farley Granger was known for his acting career, but he also had a life full of personal interests that shaped who he was. He loved the arts and was a supporter of various charities. He believed in giving back to the community and was involved in causes that aimed to improve the lives of others. His passion for the arts extended beyond the screen as he often attended theater performances and supported local artists. His generosity and love for the arts were reflected in his work, showing his deep connection to the roles he played and the stories he told through his performances. Granger's commitment to helping others and his love for the arts made him more than just an actor. They made him a person who used his platform to make a difference. Farley Granger's life off screen was as eventful as his on screen roles. Arthur Lawrence, a well known playwright, shared his home and life with Granger in the mid 20th century. Their relationship was strong during the time Lawrence was writing the movie Rope, where Granger played a leading role. In the film They Live by Night, Granger took on the character of Bowie and was instrumental in casting Kathy O'Donnell as his love interest Kichi. Later in life, 
Granger found companionship with Robert Calhoun. Together, they pen Granger's memoir, Include Me Out, which recounts his journey from the glitz of Hollywood to the stages of Broadway, offering a glimpse into his personal and professional life. This book was released in 27, marking another chapter in Granger's storied career. Farley Granger was known for his roles in classic films, and his work has inspired many. He always encouraged new actors to be true to themselves and to never stop learning. He believed that every role is a chance to grow, and that staying curious and open to new experiences is key. For those starting out, he advised to focus on the craft to listen and observe, because acting is not just about speaking lines, but about understanding the emotions and stories behind them. He hoped to continue acting and sharing his love for the art, always learning from each role and helping others in the industry. Farley Granger's portrayal of Bowie in They Live By Night was marked by a real-life incident where he injured his leg, mirroring his character's condition. This unexpected event led to Howard Da Silva taking him to the hospital. In Strangers on a Train, Granger shared screen space with the legendary director Alfred Hitchcock, who despite his meticulous planning, expressed feelings of boredom during the filming process. Later in his life, Granger, alongside his partner Robert Calhoun, celebrated a long relationship and their creative endeavors with a special event at the Film Forum Theater, highlighting his journey from Hollywood to Broadway as detailed in his autobiography. Farley Granger's career in acting showed his strong love for the craft. He brought new ideas to the roles he played and left a lasting mark on movies and TV. His work showed that with hard work and staying true to your vision, you can create lasting stories that move and inspire. His journey reminds us that no matter the challenges, holding on to your creative spirit and pushing through can lead to great things. Farley Granger stands as a shining example of what can be achieved with dedication and a love for the arts. In his role as Guy Haynes in Strangers on a Train, Farley Granger shared that Alfred Hitchcock was tough on Ruth Roman, often scolding her openly. Granger believed Hitchcock felt the need to target one actor during filming. Roman was aware that Hitchcock didn't choose her for the role. She was cast because of her contract and the studio's decision. Playing Bowie in They Live By Night, Granger's performance alongside Kathy O'Donnell was delayed due to studio politics. Filmed in 1947, it was released two years later after being initially shelled by Howard Hughes. To ensure the actors worked together again, they were cast in Side Street by Dor Sherry, prompting Hughes to release They Live By Night just before Side Street. As Philip and Rope, Granger's character interacts with significant books, including Audubon by Constance Rourke and The Complete Life by John Erskine, reflecting the era's culture and knowledge. Farley Granger brought life to the character Philip in the film Rope, where a conversation about his astrological sign reveals he is a Cancer, born on July 14th. Interestingly, Granger himself was a Cancer, though his actual birth date was July 1st. In another project, Granger was set to appear in a movie titled Violence, which was reported to be in production in Morocco on May 6, 1970, by Variety magazine. The film, directed by Damiano Damini and featuring a cast including Susan Strasberg and Woody Strode, never seemed to reach completion or distribution. Lastly, Granger's role as Guy Haynes in Strangers on a Train is notable as, following his passing in 2011, Patricia Hitchcock remains the only living cast member from the film. Farley Granger played the role of Sheriff George Frazier in the movie The Prowler. His casting for the part came about in an unusual way. It was the result of a chance encounter, as the wife of an investor for the film was in the same acting class as Granger. This connection led to him being selected for the role, showcasing how sometimes opportunities come from unexpected places. Farley Granger, known for his roles in classic films, faced a personal tragedy early in his career. In 1951, while he was filming Strangers on a Train, his partner at the time, writer Robert Calhoun, was drafted into the Korean War. This event deeply affected Granger as the two were close, and the separation during such a volatile period was difficult for him. The uncertainty of war and the fear for his partner's safety cast a shadow over what was otherwise a rising phase in Granger's acting journey. Farley Granger was a talented actor who brought many characters to life on screen. His performances have left a lasting impression on fans and fellow actors alike. If you enjoyed watching Farley Granger's films or have memories you'd like to share, please leave a comment below. 
Your thoughts add great value to the discussion about his work. If you find joy in remembering Farley Granger and the roles he played, show your support by liking and sharing this video. Don't forget to subscribe for more content that celebrates the artists and their work that have shaped the world of entertainment. Your engagement helps keep the memory of these artists alive and honors their contributions to the arts.